I think grief is given by God as an emotion so that we can react to loss. I lost a friend when I was 18. His name was Nolan Myers. He also was 18 and he was killed in a car accident. My mother died 9 February 2004. It was a horrible time for me. Horrible. Ella se llamaba Natalia, tenía 26 años y vivía en Quito, Ecuador. Yo recuerdo cuando en una mañana ella salía para el trabajo y cruzaba la calle mientras venía un auto y la golpeó. Ella falleció en el instante. On the 23rd of March 2007, it was a Friday morning, I lost my mother. She died of uh, liver cancer, which had started in her ovaries and spread. And I remember going into, into her hospital room and sitting on her bed and just looking at her. And I remember registering in that moment that my mother was at peace with dying. I, I felt betrayed. I felt betrayed and abandoned initially. The 16-year-old girl who, who could see it in her mother's eyes that, that her mum had made peace with the Lord about going to heaven early and, and leaving us behind, as it were. When the um, umbrellas came to my, to my house, and then um, uh, I, was, I was shot, me and a friend, Julius. You know, I got one in the chest, one in my arm, and uh, Julius got uh, a bullet in his head, and also one in the chest. Uh, we were taken into the hospital directly straight to the ICU. Um, later, I fell into this deep sleep, you know, and then um, Julius appeared to me in the dream. He took, he led me up, up to the hill, to the mountain, and we reached the peak. At the peak, just next to the peak, it was as if he could reach hand to the sky, you know. And when he, when he took me up to the peak, he was like, um, okay, it's bye-bye, where I'm going, you can't follow, you know. And then eventually he... He disappeared. Different people experience grief in their own personal way. It is also um, dependent upon if the person is emotional or if they work just through their mind. So there are different ways that people experience it. I, I just remember sobbing. I remember just sobbing and sobbing and crying out and screaming, you know, at her not to leave. Cuando ocurrió eso, estaba destrozado, pasé, eh, lloré mucho tiempo, eh, pero más que todo fue un año de analizar la situación, de por qué me había pasado esto. Bueno, si es que la viera nuevamente, le diría que la amo, que la extraño y que Dios es grande, grande en mi vida y que lo único que quiero es el bien para ella. 
But at that moment, I had this peace because I already knew that Julius was was gone because he had visited me and let me know that. Yeah. She's with her Lord who she loves and has loved for so many years and she's there for all of eternity and I will see her again. So, you know, I, I feel hope. There's definitely a lot of hope there. A lot of emotions, a bundle of emotions, but so much hope. Absolutely.